Hey, what's going on fellow collectors? In this video, let's talk about the top 10 archeological discoveries of 2022. At number one, we have the ornate collection of ancient bronze statues discovered in Tuscany. This collection of statues from the Etruscan Roman transition period were discovered in an ancient spa in Tuscany. This was after a network of bathhouses was excavated near Siena. The site is fed by geothermal springs, which the Etruscans used to supply water at a mean temperature of 42 degrees Celsius or 108 degrees Fahrenheit to the complex of Balnea Clusinae. According to legend, the site was founded by Porsena, a king, and during the Roman period, the spa became a popular attraction for the therapeutic benefit of the waters due to the rich content of calcium and magnesium. Notable people such as Caesar Augustus were frequent visitors. At number two, the wreck of Sir Ernest Shackleton's endurance ship is found. The original discovery was made at the end of 2021, but the ship was visited in the beginning of 2022 by an exhibition team from the Endurance 22, which have announced that Sir Ernest Shackleton's Endurance has been found off the coast of Antarctica. The Endurance was a three-masted barkentine dispatched on the Imperial Trans-Antarctic Expedition to make the first land crossing of the Antarctic continent. The ship is sitting upright on the seabed and is largely intact. There is some damage to the deck and part of the starboard side, but the paintwork and the ship's name Endurance are still clearly visible. The ship became beset in ice whilst navigating the Weddell Sea, drifting in an ice pack until eventually the ship was crushed and sank to the bottom of the ocean. Shackleton and the crew were stranded on the ice in makeshift camps eventually using lifeboats to reach the uninhabited Elephant Island. Shackleton and five others then made an 800-mile open boat journey in the James Caird to reach South Georgia. From there, Shackleton was eventually able to mount a rescue of the men waiting on Elephant Island and bring them back home. At number three, the oldest text written in the Basque language found on the hand of Erulagai. Now, the hand of Erulagai was first discovered in the end of 2021 during excavations near Pamplona, Spain. Experts suggest that the hand was created by the Viscones, a pre-Roman tribe that was believed to have written the language. A new study in 2022 on the artifact has identified five Visconic words across 40 characters. The earliest text in the Basque language written in Iberian script. This object dates from the first century BC during the Roman Sertoria Wars, which took place from 80 to 72 BC, a period of conflict between a faction of Roman rebels and the government of Rome. According to these archeologists, the hand was placed over a door for protection, but the settlement was burned and then abandoned, leaving the object buried in the ruins of a mud brick house. At number four, thousands of Aztec objects and offerings recovered from Templo Mayor. Excavations conducted at the foot of a temple where they discovered ritual deposits containing over 2,500 wood objects. The finds consist of masks, headdresses, scepters, pectorals, darts, figurines, dart launchers, earrings, jars, and numerous wooden offerings that priests deposited to consecrate the site to the Aztec gods. Construction of this temple began sometime after the year 1325, but was destroyed by the Spanish in 1521. The present-day archaeological site lies to the northeast of Zacalo, a main plaza of Mexico City. The objects have survived all this time due to the anaerobic conditions in the soil and the high level of humidity that has preserved them for more than 500 years. At number five, origins of the 30,000-year-old Venus of Willendo are solved. Anthropologist Gerhard Weber 
from the University of Vienna used microcomputer tomography to analyze the Venus up to the resolution of 11.5 micrometers. The team procured comparative samples from Austria and Europe for comparison to geologically determine the origin of the specimen. This study in short found that the tomography data from Venus had sediments deposited in the rocks in different density and sizes and determined that this artifact originally thought to be from either Austria or other parts of Europe may have origins from Italy. At number six, archaeologists discover the oldest known narrative scene dating from 11,000 years ago. This team of archaeologists discovered what may be the oldest known narrative scene carved into an 11,000 year old Neolithic bench in Turkey. The discovery reported by in the journal Antiquity was made during the excavations in Turkey, which began in 2021. The site is located beneath a modern village. The bench has two carved scenes that show depictions of people interacting with animals. In one scene is a man with leopards on either side. Number seven, large funerary building and Fayum portraits from the Ptolemaic and Roman period have been discovered. Archaeologists excavating at the Garza archaeological site in Egypt's Fayum city have uncovered a large funerary building and Fayum portraits from the Ptolemaic and Roman periods. This is the first discovery of Fayum portraits since excavations by British archaeologists during excavations in Hawara in 1887 and 1911. Archaeologists have been excavating in this site since 2016 with the latest season's research uncovering this large building. As part of the Agricultural Reclamation Project, this building is believed to have been built by Ptolemy II around the year 300 BC. At number 8, Archaeologists have identified an entire sentence in Canaanite engraved on an ivory comb that dates from 1700 BC. On the comb are 17 letters in an archaic form from the first stage of the invention of the alphabet script. They form seven words in Canaanite, reading, May this tusk root out the lice of the hair in the beard. At this time, the shallow nature of the inscriptions meant that any identification went unnoticed until a subsequent post-processing in 2022 revealed text that has now been deciphered by Ben Gurion University. At number 9, this 1,300-year-old gold and gemstone necklace was uncovered during an excavation in Northamptonshire, England. The necklace, described as a once-in-a-lifetime find, has 30 pendants and beads made from Roman coins, gold, garnets, glass, and semi-precious stones. A rectangular pendant with a cross motif forms the centerpiece of the necklace and is inlaid with red garnets set in gold. The find is part of a collection of grave goods still being investigated that has been dubbed the Harpole Treasure based on the name of the local parish. Experts have stated that the female burial is one of the most significant from the period ever discovered in Britain. Number 10. Lost temples, Buddhist structures, and caves uncovered in a forest in Budapest. An archaeological survey in India has uncovered lost temples, Buddhist structures, and caves located in the Maurya district in India. 26 caves have been documented, which date to the 2nd century BC to the 5th century AD, 26 temples, 2 monasteries, 2 votive stupas, and 46 sculptures have also been found. 24 inscriptions have been documented, which date from the 2nd to 5th century, with some also describing the names of Pavada and other important kings such as Maharaja Sri Bimsina, all of which have been found within the cave structures. Some of the smaller finds in this are interesting as well, which are board games found in the caves, a monolith depicting the ten avatars of Vishnu, and coins belonging to a king from India. Let me know what you think about the top 10 archaeological finds of 2022 in the comments below. I will see you there, and I will see you in the next video.